I think it's vitally important to teach kids about um, where their food comes from. Um, anybody, even adults. I think that um, our disconnect from that is, is such um, a big part of why there's so many health problems in, in this country and in the world. Um, because if you really don't have a connection to the, where your food's coming from, you really don't even understand what, what it means you know, to, for a plant to grow and to produce food. We've become very accustomed to a certain way of life and I think that the more kids are, um, that are actually having gardens and um, planting their own seeds and learning and watching something grow, the, the more that they'll, they'll be, become um, sensitive and um, conscious human beings and really thinking about how their actions and their nurturing can affect something. We'll both get it. All, all, all I have to do is just get me into this one. We got the monster carrot, dude. Oh my god, that is a monster carrot. Pull it up. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oops. That's a big carrot. Does that end look durable? A significant amount of the hard labor here is done by the kids. They they love to move mulch and compost. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Lunch scraps. Awesome, lunch. Oh, so, yummy. Uh, yum, yum, give me some. Let's bury it so it stops smelling. What? Cover it up with dirt, otherwise it's going to stink. My name's Nate, and we're burying up some stuff in that hole, and it really smells. And and there's lots of loose dirt there, and a while ago we were picking some yeah, carrots, and they really uh, taste good. We're going to plant uh, an al alpine strawberry bed on top of that uh, thing, at least for now. Later on we'll do something else. Most of the beds in the garden have had that procedure done to them. We just amend the soil on the top a little bit and then plant on the same bed. There's been a lot of studies done about um, the nutritional superiority of a food that's, a, a, let's say, a, a, an apple that's just been picked versus an apple that's been shipped, you know, 250 miles or thousands of miles just to be eaten. And, you know, as soon as it's picked, it starts losing its, its potency. Um, and if any anyone is fortunate enough to pick you know a piece of fruit from a tree and eat it, I mean that is to me is like one of the greatest things in life. Okay, you know what, guys? I think we have enough for the rest of the year. No, no, we yeah. must have more. No, like this one. Break okay. off the greens and put them in the bucket. God, look at all these carrots. Do you like picking Getting carrots? students that have never liked or even tasted a pea or don't like carrots, you know, or beans. They, uh, I, I encourage them to take just a little bite of that snap pea, you know, and they take a little bite. Oh, this is really good. And almost to a student, you know, they are converts then. They're just looking for the peas. At, oh, are there any peas? Kids connecting to, to plants um, is a way for them to feel, in some ways, too, feel like they have um, a place in the world, that they are actually able to grow their own food. And it, it's kind of a, maybe this is the wrong word, but it's kind of an empowering thing to be a nurturer, to, you know, nurture a plant and watch it grow. It's, I, it does give some kids a sense of uh, self-esteem that they didn't have before. And, um, and those benefits are just, you know, they just keep, they just keep, keep extending far and wide.